guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you like this video, I certainly hope you'll consider doing so. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner by using up in, um, ingredients that we have in our fridge, freezer, and pantry. Um, I have not been out of the house since the quarantine started, so just using what I've got. So tonight I made our version of a burrito bowl. So we are using this rice that I had in the pantry from Mahatma. It is really good. It's a garlic and olive oil jasmine rice and you cook it in the microwave. So it's on the very bottom of my bowl right there. And then um, we are using some black beans that I doctored up. And then we're also using these beef fajitas that I had in the freezer. So I just chopped them up and then I pan fried them. So here they are uh, right here. And then for the salsa, um, long before this quarantine started, I was at Walmart. Let me show it to you. I was at Walmart and I saw this on the shelf and I've never seen canned salsa before, but the picture looked really good and it said filled to can in five hours. And so I don't have that much salsa in my pantry, so I reached for that. And it's actually really good. So here it is, I poured it into a bowl and you can see the fire roasted vegetables in there and it's really good. So if I ever find this again, I would definitely buy it. I think it was pretty cheap. Um, I think it may have been a little over a buck, I think, don't quote me on that. So this is Howard's bowl right here. He has the salsa on the side and he added sour cream. Um, to his bowl and you can see on his bowl a little bit better the layer so you've got the rice the black beans the steak the cheese and then this is my bowl right here I just put my salsa on top and I'm not a big fan of sour cream on top of my food like that so anyway this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time Hey guys, so we are having one of our staple dinners tonight. We are having beans and rice. Howard made dinner for us. So he just took a, um, a can of pinto beans from our pantry and he doctored them up, put some pepper in there, a bunch of garlic on top, you can see that. Um, and then for the rice, we are having some jasmine rice. We had this in the pantry as well, wanted to use that up. And there are exactly two servings in this um, little bag of microwavable rice and two servings of the pinto bean. So we just split that. And then he added avocado to his plate. He likes avocado and I'm not a big fan, but he eats avocado with his beans and that was his very last avocado. Um, we, I, we won't be going back to the grocery store anytime soon. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having shrimp and corn bisque. This was in my pantry. It is from the Cajun Spoon. So Howard and I discovered this brand when we went to Louisiana. Um, it's been a couple of years ago, and I don't know about you, but whenever I'm out of town, I always like to go to the local grocery store or Walmart and pick up local items. So this is one of the things that I found. I think I found it at Walmart in Louisiana. And so um, I got a box when I was there and we, we really liked it. And I didn't think I would be able to find it again. And I did find it here in our local Walmart. So I picked up a couple of boxes and they were in my pantry. And so all you need to make this bisque is half and half, which I happened to have in my fridge because I was gonna use it for quiche originally. You also need some milk and we're trying to conserve milk. So this is what I use for my milk. It's an evaporated milk. And you dilute it, dilute it one part milk and one part water. Or if you want your food extra creamy, you just use it straight. And then it also calls for um, shrimp, which I have in my freezer. I have a, a bunch of shrimp. And then it calls for whole corn and a can of cream corn and then the package of the bisque. So here's my corn that I used. I didn't have any cream corn, and so I just didn't use it. But the first time I made it, I did add the cream corn, and it was really good. So here it is, um, and it cooks for about 45 minutes, and you see how thick it is, all that shrimp, and it is really, really good. I really like this brand. They have a lot of different products, from bisque to gumbo to you name it, they have it. Really like this brand. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Texas barbecue rice skillet. 
and I did record a video for this recipe and I will make sure to link it um, in the description box or in one of the cards. So uh, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. It is very good and a quick and simple recipe. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a skillet meal. This is from HEB, which is a local grocery store here in Texas. It is creamy Parmesan. It says an Italian inspired sauce prepared with real cream, Parmesan, cheddar, and Romano cheeses. And so all you do is slice up a pound of chicken breast and you saute it and cook it up in the pan. Then you add the envelope of the cooking sauce, let it simmer, and here it is. You're supposed to serve it over pasta. And in my pan, well, this came from my pantry, um, the simmering sauce. And then also in my pantry, I had a half a box of angel hair pasta left over. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.